All right, let's talk some cricket now on the Sportsman Zone. Round three of the West Indies Championship is set to bowl off on Wednesday with four matches. Gerard Marsili looks ahead. All matches in round two of the West Indies Championship produced results with wins for Leeward Islands Hurricanes, Trinidad and Tobago Red Force, Jamaica Scorpions, and the Windward Islands Volcanoes. The centuries tally rose with five of them coming from four players. However, there is still cause for concern as none of the West Indies test batsmen were among them. But the standout was 23-year-old Leeward Islands Hurricanes opener Mikhail Louis, whose pair of centuries in their win against defending champions Guyana Harpy Eagles made him the 11th player in West Indies first class cricket to achieve the feat. On the bowling side, spinners now have five of the eight five-wicket hauls in the competition so far. Both Raheem Cornwall and Ashmi Ned took six in the innings in their round two fixtures. But 17-year-old Barbadian Zishan Matara was most lethal, grabbing a career-best 7408. The only bright spark with the ball in combined campuses and colleges 10-wicket loss to Jamaica Scorpions in Kingston. As it stands, Windward Islands Volcanoes lead the table with 42.4 points, registering two wins from as many matches. Captain Kimani Melia says his team is aiming to maintain that record. I've always told the guys, you know, over the past two games, you know, we aim for consistency, not just over a period of two games, but, you know, consistency right through, consistency in everything we do. Yeah, these two games are now history. We focus on what's in front of us, which is the game against CCC. We come against them with the same intensity and same professionalism. Round three pits Leeward Islands Hurricanes against Trinidad and Tobago Red Force at Warner Park in St. Kitts and Nevis, while West Indies Academy moved to Coolidge Cricket Ground in Antigua and Barbuda to face Guyana Harpy Eagles. Jamaica Scorpions and Barbados Pride clash in a marquee matchup at Sabina Park, while Windward Islands Volcanoes and the CCC face off at Chedwin Park, both in Jamaica. Yeah, terrific start to the tournament for the Windward Islands Volcanoes and their captain, Kimani uh, Melias. He's really led this Windward Islands Volcanoes team well. And Lance and Mariah, they must be pleased with the start they have to this competition. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, you know, they have uh, shown a lot of improvement in recent years and they are producing good cricketers. Yes. If you look at the West Indies setup at the moment and you look at players like Athenaeus and um, uh, Kevin Hodge and so on, and uh, players coming out of the, the Windward Islands, you have to be pleased with the growth of a lot of their players. And it's very heartwarming to see them top of the table at the moment and by so far such a huge margin. Yeah, for quite some time we had too many of the bigger countries, if we were to put it that way, dominating. So it feels good to see them coming to the forefront and, of course, dominating. Yeah, very much the case. All right, so Gerard mentioned Leeward Island's opener, Mikhail Louis, in his report as the standout batsman from Brown 2 and the 23-year-old who is in his first season of CWI four-day cricket joins us via Zoom. Um, it's a pleasure to have you, Mikhail. I mean, tremendous performance from you last week, scoring um, two centuries in the game for the Leeward Islands. Terrific effort. I want you to walk me through that performance and just express how pleased you are with your effort. Uh, good evening. Thanks for having me. Um, it's a pleasure to be on the show. Um, from a young age, I always dreamed of doing an interview. And sports max <laughs> and to be well here. we're happy to have you <laughs> keep Thank scoring you. Um, those centuries and you'll be on <laughs> <laughs> i will but um it's a great feeling obviously um uh, for quite some time i felt like i had what it takes you know to play at this level and i would like to say thanks for the league of Islands cricket board for selecting me and granting me the opportunity to showcase my skills you know um a lot of hard work a lot of sacrifices and I'm just happy that I was able to contribute towards a win for the Leeward Islands. Yeah, so many questions I have, right? But I want you to take us to the beginning. I want an understanding of how you started this sport of cricket and your progression through the ranks to get you to this stage. Um, from a young age, my father, he, he's an adamant cricket lover. You know, he, he loves the game of cricket. Me, I have two older brothers. All of us played cricket. Um, you know, Jeremiah Louis, he's the opening bowler for the Leeward Islands. And um, growing up, we always played cricket. He, he ensured that we played cricket because he always felt like cricket is the best sporting avenue for young men in the Caribbean. Yeah, and then, of course, as what, a 16 or 17-year-old, you were in the West Indies U19 squad that um, played list A cricket. So you got 
an early opportunity there, so played two matches and then nothing from you until this year. Um, I know you were involved in the CPL at one, at one stage as well. Um, talk me through that period, um, the last, what, four or five years leading to where you are now. Yeah, that was a, um, it was a, a trying period for me. It was, I would like to say it was difficult. I felt like, you know, I've been working hard and I would have liked a little more opportunities during this period, but I can't complain, you know, this period, it gave me the hunger, the the desire, you know, yeah. <laughs> to, to really understand that when you do get an opportunity, you grab it with both hands and I'm just happy that that's what happened for me. Yeah, here's a potentially tough one, right? So there was an incident in the CPL in 2021 where you left the bubble and I understand you hadn't been given permission, of course, in difficult circumstances for you. Um, is there anything you can tell us about that experience and anything that you learned from that 2021 experience because you were ultimately sent home and unable to take part in the remainder of the tournament with the St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots? Well, um, I wouldn't like to say much about this incident because I don't want to, to share any bad news or say anything bad about anyone in particular on the media. But it was a bit of a misunderstanding. And let's just leave it at that. It was a misunderstanding and I paid the price. Any, any lessons you learned from it? Oh, many lessons, man. It was something that plagued me for years, you know, something that really hurt me. And because I felt like this was an opportunity for me to really show that I have what it takes, you know, to perform at this level. And, you know, without getting the chance to actually show my skills. I was, you know, excluded. Yeah. You live and learn. yeah, definitely live and learn. And you're here now doing the interview that you wanted to do. Um, any plans or any goals you have for the rest of the competition? Yes, I have some goals, um, some personal goals. Um, I don't think it would be good for me to share them, you know, for the other teams to hear my plans and goals. And <laughs> but you're already on the road to those goals, I feel, because you've already been picking up those centuries. Yeah, um, the senior players in the Leewards camp, like players like Rakim Cornwall, Hayden Walsh, um, Jama Hamilton, Casey Carty, you know, they really guide me and help me understand the game of cricket to a higher level. And, you know, so I set goals that I feel like it's, I'm capable of achieving. Yeah. But I don't think it's good for me to share them. Okay, the I respect that. But how is it playing alongside your brother? He's also been doing very well. He picked up five for 29, three for 41, also had, four, he scored 45. How, has, how is that for you? Well, I mean, I don't think there's a greater feeling yeah. of being in war with somebody you could trust a hundred percent, you know, somebody who really, you know, really have your back, you know, no bias, no, no, no bad feelings towards you. And um, in my first game, you know, I was a little nervous. He came to me and he basically told me like, you know, you've been playing cricket all your life. No need to get nervous now. Nothing new. Just go out there, have fun, continue doing your best, you know. And it's a great pleasure, honestly, to be on the same field as him because you know he's, in my opinion, he's the best cricketer ever. And uh, I always tell him this. Yeah. <laughs> great, to, great to hear um, young Mikhail talking about his big brother in that way. Um, you both went to Washington Archibald High School. Um, Mikhail, can you talk to us about your high school experience and your brother being at the school, even though he was several years ahead of you? Well, in high school, he was a superstar, you know, because he was, um, he captained the cricket team. He played national football. He, he, he um, did track and field for the national and the national circuit as well. So, you know, he was really well known and people always saw me as his younger brother, you know? They didn't see me <laughs> so you got the benefits. Yeah. So I was just Jerry Meyer's younger brother. And I basically had um had a good I was in the good books with the teachers, you know, the, the older students, just for the mere fact that I was his younger brother. <laughs> Yeah, and Mikhail, now you're making a name for yourself, and that's all that's important. In 15 seconds, quickly, do you have aspirations of representing the West Indies, which I'm sure you do? Do you feel you have the quality to get there and do well? Well, I would like to say that I feel it's every young man's dream to represent the West Indies and the West Indian people 
I would love to play for the West Indies and I would, this is something that I'm working towards and hopefully I'll get there one day. Yeah, McCann, it's been an absolutely it's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you today and we wish you all the very best. Continue scoring those runs in the regional four day tournament and you just never know. Opportunities are bound. All the very best. Keep working hard. Thank you and thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, it's an absolute pleasure. Mikhail Lewis there um, from the Leeward Islands Hurricanes. 11th West Indies player to be immortal in regional four-day cricket. Centuries in both innings of the last match. Let's take a break. Interactive to close.